guys, it's Andrea. I'm back with a brand new subscription to my channel. I'm super excited about it. It is platter full. They send you items to make your own, your own charcuterie board. Cheeses and meats and such and that. There are two different sizes you can get. The regular or the large. The regular is 59 a month. And the large is 89 when you subscribe. You can buy one-offs, and it's a little bit more if you do that. If you subscribe, it's cheaper. I do have a discount code I'll share, share as well for 10% off, and that's Andrea10. All this will link down below. Ready to become a charcuterie artist? Try Platterful. And this says one box sold equals 10 meals donated to combat childhood hunger across the U.S. via No Kid Hungry. That's awesome. I'm so excited about this. Let's get into it. I think it said the large one. It probably tells this information, like how many it would feed for a meal or for hors d'oeuvres. They gave me a nice vinyl sticker. We have a thing of frequently asked questions. By the way, meet Pierre the Platterful Platterpus. Pierre is a resident charcuterie expert and has the answers for all your questions and more. What should I do with all of this after opening? First of all, place the meats and cheeses from the insulated package into the fridge. The meats don't have to be refrigerated, but honestly, cold meat is just easier to cut and fold. All of the other products are 100% shelf stable, which means they don't have to be refrigerated before you open them. What do I do if my ice packs have melted and my cheese has warmed? No worries. Ice packs are actually designed to melt in transit, but the cheese should still be a bit cooler than room temp. Put the cheese in the fridge upon receiving it. Um, you, you, know, you don't even have to refrigerate technically hard cheese, I don't think. They just... You do, because it lasts longer. Let's see. Most of the things... Um, check the Best Buy date for shelf life. Most of it's shelf stable. Okay. This Oh, it's got my product out of all the stuff that's in here. Now, what they do as well... Step-by-step -step instructions for how to build your platter. They also make video tutorials. You can QR scan this, and they actually have a video tutorial up that um, will show you how to do it if you would rather watch than read. Okay. What's this? I don't know what that is. This is the first time I've ever gotten this box, so bear with me. I'm learning to. I'm assuming our cheese and meats are in here. Contents may cause extreme happiness and drooling. Yes, yeah, let's place this portion in the fridge. I think it said the large box would feed two to four for a meal. And if you wanted to set it out as an appetizer plate, like eight people. The first cheese, oh, this is a very high-end brand. I know that much. Kerry Gold Skilling, 100% natural cheese. This is sweet cheddar imported from Ireland. Gosh. My mouth is watering. This is from grass-fed cows. I cannot wait to try all this, you guys. Ice pack. Next we have Icton's Smoked Gouda. A wedge of this. I enjoy Gouda very much. And some brie. Product of France, 
Claudel. We have a, a Wheel of Brie. Oh, it's in a tin like this. That's cool. Okay, I think that's all of our cheese. We just get in our meat here. We have some prosciutto, air-dried pork, humanely raised, charcuterie, prosciutto. This is cremolini sliced. Cremolini is the brand. And then we have from Columbus Craft Meats. This is from um, a recipe from Tuscany, Italy. It is fennel salami made without antiprobiotics. What's that say? Antibiotics. Pork raised without antibiotics. Sounds so good. Okay, next. Roasted garlic. Okay, here's our little, um, here's our crackers. Ooh, some of them got worse for wear. Roasted garlic. Do they a bit crumbly in transit? So that's, oh, that's too bad. There's a lot of whole ones left, but there's a lot of crumbly ones too. Yeah, this is our roasted garlic artisan artisan crackers. Yeah, so I kind of bust a little bit. Next we have got Terrapin Ridge Blueberry Bourbon Pecan Jam. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Blueberry bourbon pecan jam. That sounds so good. Then we have some Hanny Honey. Hot Hanny. And Dipper. Comes with a honey dipper. can see the stuff in it. Yeah, I definitely need help putting this together. Um, oh, here it is. We have some dried apricots from Healthy Life. And we have some caramel sea salt, dark chocolate, 60% cocoa bar. So we have wasabi peas. Wasabi. And chili and oregano pitted green olives. We have two of these. Now, there's a green option, optional to pick up from store that would, you know, look good on your board. Fresh strawberries and fresh herbs, rosemary are their suggestions. I'm assuming this is for the pecan jam, this little spatula, right? Oh. That's what that little bowl is. This little bowl here is for our pecan jam. It's a little like, it's wood. I see now they've got the pecan jam. Maybe this, let's see how we're supposed to put it together. Yeah. It's got step-by-step -step instructions for assembling your charcuterie board. And here's their finished one with all of our products, including um, the fresh strawberries that um, you would get from the store. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so yummy. What do you guys think? Um, when I make this and put it up and serve it, I'll share on the community board or something the picture of it so you guys can see when we do this. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings. I'll see you at the next one.